People are getting attacked with malware through the WhatsApp, but the good news is it can be avoided. And today we are going to talk about how to do that. My name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today I'll be covering recent exploits found on the WhatsApp for Windows computers. Now, again, they've been patched out in the recent 2.2450.6 update. Some of you may have heard about that. Some of you may not. So let's break down the what's going on with the WhatsApp. Okay, so to break it down, Meta has warned WhatsApp Windows users, as in if you have a Windows computer and you use the WhatsApp on the computer or you have it downloaded to, the, to your Windows computer, you need, and I stress and emphasize, you need to update to the latest version as soon as possible, okay? So that's gonna be, again, version 2.2450.6, okay? Why? Well, because exploits have been found. That's right. Now this is not the first time and probably won't be the last time, but in the latest case, a spoofing issue in WhatsApp for Windows was allowing attacks, attackers to execute arbitrary code when you click on an attachment to view it. Well, what if I don't click on attachments, Tyler, right? What if I use WhatsApp and I just don't click on attachments? Well, they also found a second exploit just a little bit ago. That was a zero click, zero day security vulnerability, okay? That was installing spyware. So this is a big issue, big, big issue. How do we fix it? Well, it's pretty simple. Like I said, we update the app. That's all we have to do in this case, okay? So the exploits have been found and patched out. Uh, this is basically how it works in the, in the cybersecurity or the security world for computers. Things are found, the companies that put out the software or whoever you know is responsible for the software or whatever is being exploited they have to then fix the issue okay now the unfortunate part about this is in that meantime users who are using whatsapp get exploited right they can't find the issue until maybe somebody's been exploited that's not always the case sometimes you will have security experts or you know just good samaritans out there white hat hackers as they call them who will actually find the exploit before the bad guys do, which is great. That's the ideal situation. If they find the exploit before the bad guys find it, then they can tell the company and it can get patched out, okay? Which has been the case for a lot of these WhatsApp exploits. Uh, they don't have exact numbers on how many people were affected out in the wild, okay? Because you may be thinking right now, well, what if I was uh, exploited by this? I'm going to update the exploit may have already done something to my computer, right? Because that's what the exploit was there to do, to push over malicious code, push over, you know, malware, Trojans, spywares, whatever they were trying to push over and hurt you. So that may have already happened. Okay. So that's why it's also good. In addition to updating WhatsApp and all your other software and your operating system, the Windows operating system itself. You also want to be running regular virus scans using Windows Defender, the built-in uh, scanner for Windows operating system. Uh, we have a video actually that talks a little bit about that. And then you can always use a third-party antivirus software like Malwarebytes, which I use occasionally for uh, spot cleaning and uh, scanning myself. You can run scans with those uh, two antiviruses on your computer. You know, if you want to do Malwarebytes or whatever your third party is, run some scans, check it out making sure that you check for malware trojans and the other harmful applications that may have made their way to your computer okay and then a second layer of this is staying vigilant especially with the whatsapp uh, whatsapp is known to be kind of a scammers playground they can use it to reach out to people and try to scam them uh, via the chats on whatsapp even making calls um, and then again there's the other half of it which is this situation where hackers were actually able to exploit security vulnerabilities, which is normal. A lot of applications out there, operating system, different things are going to have exploits and vulnerabilities. Um, that's we don't have control over. The part we do have control over is making sure that we know who we're talking to on WhatsApp and we're being really careful about what we click on and open while we're using that application. Because again, great example here it was causing harm to those who were opening those attachments. Now, if you need help updating your WhatsApp, reviewing your computer security topography, or just any other general help with your technology or you know phone, tablet, PC, please reach out to us. The number's always at the outro, intro, outro, 
And down in the description below, we'd be happy to help. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Please hit that thumbs up down there. Give it a like, share the video if you have some time. If you're new here, hit that subscribe down below so that you can keep up to date with our new content. We like to drop new info about what's going on in the security world as we did, you know, like I did today, or tips and tricks for your computer. So definitely come along with us, hit that subscribe, and I'll see everyone on the next one. Thanks for watching.